We are still here on the Now Morning Show, and we earlier this week, Kent was here on Tuesday, and we spoke to Andrew Lewis. Ken, I yeah. think we're going to continue with that. We're going to continue in that team. You know, we always hear from the athletes, but we don't hear about from the people who can behind the scenes with them. Mm -hmm. So I caught up with Andrew's um, fitness coach, Ben Hughes, who's also a boxing coach, and he wants to contribute both to Andrew and the boxing scene in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, Ben. The man now helping Andrew Lewis prepare for the Olympics is none other than boxing and the fitness coach Ben Hughes. In the world of uncertainty because of the COVID-19 virus, Hughes believes preparing athletes is now about working with what challenges you face. Try to embrace the chaos as much as possible and just accept that there's going to be continuous speed bumps and hurdles and changes. It's a, it's a changing landscape all the time in terms of regulations and such. So yeah, we kind of accepted it would be a challenge. but. I think Andrew and I were on the same wavelength and just we set our sights on some very clear objectives in terms of his training, what he wanted to achieve, um, how we were going to do it. Um, you know, Andrew put together the bulk of the plan. It was really just a case of me helping him execute it. But how did the relationship between a sailor and a fitness coach with a boxing background come about? Um, well, Andrew and I had known of each other for a while. Um, you know, I'm, I'm local to here as well, to Dago. So, um, We'd, we'd sort of been around the same circles, I guess, and been aware of each other for some time. And Andrew reached out to me, like he said, and we sort of struck up a conversation. Originally, I thought it was about a project that I would discussed with him before. Um, so it was a pleasant surprise to then be posed with the challenge of yeah, training him during this period. Um, but was excited and, and relishing the challenge, really. There was, of course, some changes to be made with his new charge. There are similarities, but there are many differences. Um, fitness is means different things to different people, right? Um, being fit in the world of boxing is not the same as being fit in Andrew's world. Um, Andrew doesn't have to get in and do 12 rounds of boxing in a ring. Um, and similarly, none of them are gonna last two minutes on a hiking bench, which is what you can see behind me. So it, it's really understanding what does being fit mean in the context of sailing and just trying to get my head around that, which was, again, just a, a I guess an exciting challenge to, to get my head around a new sport and um, what that means. Um, but yeah, boxing, boxing and sailing are obviously very different, but there are principles in terms of strength and conditioning, just good foundations that we can look to build. Um, and then there are things more specific to sailing that you'd obviously want to factor into the program. He says an athlete's readiness has a lot to do with them, especially in a period of uncertainty. I, I thoroughly believe that just comes down to mindset. Um, I think if you allow yourself to you know, get down in your luck and feel like, you know, oh, that was my year that, you know, that messed up my timing, then it's, it's not going to serve you any good in the long run. I think the ones that will come out of this period better off are the war, the ones that are ultimately most adaptable um, and, and look at it as, as a challenge and something to conquer, which I think most athletes going into the Olympics are, are very familiar with. While the physical aspect is important for an athlete, maintaining that mental sharpness is also important. You could very easily switch off. Um, and be lulled into this false sense of security around we don't know anything's happening so you know let's wait and see and, and I really think there's opportunity amongst all this as Andrew said um, for people to go back to the drawing board and maybe look at their plans in a little bit more detail and, and figure out how we now get to next year's Olympics and what that timeline from from here on looks like. He was says he would also like to contribute to the development of local boxing and wants athletes to approach the future with a positive mindset. I help out where I can. Um, obviously run my, my own business here, Southport Boxing. Um, it's a Trinidadian registered company. Um, but as much as I can, and, and certainly before COVID, I was looking to, to help out with the national team. Um, I had a project in the works, um, a film project that should hopefully be coming out this year, um, involving them too. So yeah, I've, I've certainly um, gotten to know those guys well too, and, and have been really appreciative of being embraced by that community for sure.